Hi everybody. I decided to finally sit down and review the Warhammer 40k Darktide and I'm just going to give you my completely unbiased thoughts on the game and what it needs right now. If you haven't put, if you haven't played this game before, it's basically like a strike game where you try in a hack and slash, right? Where you try to go through hordes of enemies and you try to make it to the end of the mission and you complete basic objectives, right? I think a lot of the people now are familiar with how this game, the basic function of the game. You have different missions, different difficulties, you play through them and you get a reward, right? So what I want to talk about is some of the problems with the game, okay? Because there are a lot of them. And so people have been pretty forgiving so far, but the devs really need to fix some things. And I'm going to talk about that right now. So when you go to the armory, you know, you have all these different weapons and they have all these different uh, stats on them, right? So you see here, you know, damage, mobility, stability, reload speed, selling power, right? Five different stats for one weapon, right? And so going through and they change ammo, reload speed, right? And so they all have these different, uh, you know, different stats that do different things. And then mobility is attached to weapons as well. So what I want to talk about is uh, kind of like some of the problems with the game. So first of all, some of the weapons are just inherently not nearly as viable as others, right? You see, I have this heavy uh, les pistol, right? Nobody in their right mind is taking this to a heavy difficulty match, right? Because why on earth would you take this, like A2, for not as a pistol, right? Not much ammo. It does not much damage, right? Why would you take this over something like this bolt gun, right, which does a ton of damage, it doesn't have much, am much ammo, but it explodes, right, like on impact, it's a super good weapon, right, or even just a, a las gun, right, because they have a full-on rifle for this, so why on earth would you take a pistol, right, the rifle does way more damage, it does like 250 damage, right, so one of the problems with the game is that some of the weapons are just not viable for the higher difficulties, right, which is fine, but really what that winds up doing is creating a lot of trash weapons that players on the higher end really don't want. Like, nobody really wants a heavy pistol. Nobody really wants, like, even, I mean, a heavy sword is somewhat viable. But, you know, some of the weapons, like an infantry autogun, like, I, I don't even look at these because I've, I I just can't bring myself to use them. They're just not as good as, like, a braced autogun would be or something, right? And if you play the game, you're, you would understand that, right? So... You know, some of the weapons just aren't viable, and I think they really need to work on either buffing the weapons or just doing something with them, because I, I'm not sure exactly what, but it creates a lot of trash in the market that you go over, right? But the bigger problem I want to talk about are the stats on the weapons, okay? So what happens is all of your weapons in the shop roll with different stats, right? And you have, you know, damage, mobility, stability, blah, 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 right? So the shop refreshes every hour. So what people will do is they come check the shop every hour and they're like, oh, oh, is there a perfect weapon in here? Oh, oh, is there a good one? Like, look at this. This is a good example of a bad weapon, right? Because who on earth, nobody would want this because that's 31% damage, right? And that's an inherently bad weapon. It costs 18,300 for whatever reason, you know, but 31% damage, like nobody wants that. People will always prioritize damage and then probably I would prioritize Shredder, finesse, and penetration, right? And who cares about mobility unless you're running a super fast, like niche class? But really, the majority of people are going damage, shredder, finesse, penetration. Not necessarily in that order, but you know those are the stats they're prioritizing, right? So the problem that the game has is that so many of these weapons just roll uh, are just garbage, like compared to a high-level player, because nobody wants to use, um, you know, a bad rolled weapon, right? So. That's the first problem, because what this encourages is people just downloading um, software to check all the weapons for all the different characters, and then to just uh, use that to log in with a character that they need the weapon for, and then just uh, buy that weapon, and then just, you know, fuck right off, right? Or, what encourages is somebody who's not doing that to just, uh, you know, spam the store all the time. Every hour, okay, I'm going to check and see, oh, oh, is there, you know... Something good, something good, something good, nothing good, nothing good, nothing good. Okay, right? So that's the first problem, is it's really difficult to get weapons with, like, a decent roll, right? And then, also, I want to go back, actually, here for a second. I'll, I'll show you my operative, right? I have this infantry las gun, right? Some of these, this is a good one, but some of these stats, like, shouldn't even 
be a stat? Like, why is ammo a stat? Why does ammo change from weapon, like from a base weapon? Like, I could have the exact same this kind of weapon. Here's one, right? This one has 72% ammo. I get 103 rounds, but this one has 76. I get 105, right? Like this arbitrary stat, right? And then also mobility. Why does mobility change between weapons? Like that, it doesn't. Like no other game really does that, right? Which is fine. And then also stability, because when I'm prioritizing this weapon, I am not prioritizing stability and mobility. I am prioritizing damage, solving power, and ammo, right? Just to kill things as fast as possible. DPS, right? You know, basic fundamentals of the game. So I think that the game has too many, like, stats. It's too com com complex, right? So, you know, you're ignoring these two. I, I will fully ignore these. Maybe stability, you know, maybe right but i really don't care you know so the next thing i want to talk about is the upgrade system okay and this is another really big problem and so the upgrade system involves these blessings that you see on the bottom right so you know i have this heavy eviscerator right and it has rampage so you know hitting at least three items with attack increase your damage by 12.5 percent for three seconds okay great you know but that's a good one right like okay great that's a good blessing right but some of these blessings actually give your weapons negative attributes that you would never want. And uh, uh, the perfect example of this is Limb Splitter, right? So 15% power on first attack in a chain and then subsequent attacks have negative 15% power. Why would anybody pick this over, say, attack axe that has a... Let me see if I have one here. I'm pretty sure I do. There's another uh, perk that's called uh, Brutal Momentum, right? Ignore enemy hit mass for 1.5 seconds on weak spot kill. If you get this blessing on this weapon, it is devastatingly strong. It is ridiculously strong. You can cut through enemies like butter, right? You hit one weak spot kill, and then you're just cutting through everything else like butter. If you're hitting continuous weak spots while doing that, hitting multiple enemies, you're just constantly cutting through things. Extremely strong. Whereas this one actively hinders your weapon if you use chains. And this game encourages the use of you know combat chains right so this is an example of where a blessing would make a weapon bad right or possibly extremely good so people want to farm to get these good blessings right so that's the blessing system basically in a nutshell right so now we cruise on over here past the sky and we go to the upgrade station and if you look I can upgrade a weapon. Let's see. Do, do, do. I'll pick one. I'll do it right for you guys. So I'm, I was going to upgrade one of these last guns. Let's take a look. So this. That was weird. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Which one is better here? These ones are both. You know, I'll just upgrade this one, right? So I go to Consecrate. Consecrate basically means you're upgrading it, right? It costs this much material to upgrade, right? Consecrate. Let's see what happens. So I got a blessing. Up to 15% damage, staggered, uh, staggered enemy, scaling with stagger, right? Decent blessing, right? Um, I'm not sure if that's the best one or not, but the point is, you can upgrade a weapon and get a, a really bad blessing. And the example is Limb Splitter, right? Nobody, if you have a perfect axe, right? Like that was a good LAS gun. Had good stats on it, right? Like 80% damage, right? This is a perfect... Uh, auto gun, right? So, uh, for that stat. So, if you take this, consecrate, and you get a blessing, a mutant rage attack, you know, decent blessing, right? But there's a possibility for you to get a bad blessing, right? And it happens quite a bit because for some weapons, certain blessings are almost mandatory. An example for that is the combat blade. Almost everybody on a combat blade is shooting for lacerate, right? And if not lacerate, probably, um, the one that gives you a chance to insta-kill and critical hit, but that's not near, I don't think that's as good, but anyway, you're shooting for certain blessings on weapons, right? So what this does is it actually makes it extremely frustrating for players to upgrade weaponry, right? Because if you have, if you finally put in the time to camp the shop, right, like I was just talking about, and you get a, a good weapon, you're finally like, okay, I got this, you know, really good stat um, gun or you know, melee weapon, right? And if I consecrate it and it becomes 
you know, it gets a bad blessing, then the best thing I can do is just throw it in the garbage. You know, just get rid of it because why would you use that weapon over weapon that could have a better blessing, right? It's not ideal, right? So that's a huge problem with the game because looking back here, you're supposed to be able to re-bless the weapons, right? Some kind of system to change out your blessing, right? And that would make sense. You pay a certain amount, you didn't get a blessing you wanted, and then you can get a good blessing, right? So the game is not finished in this fundamental way in that you can re-roll your, your blessings. So it's a that's a huge problem because it just it's extremely frustrating for players to, to upgrade to a huge point, even up to these purple weapons. Once you get up to these purple, it gets extremely expensive. 350 and 800 to get a new blessing that could potentially suck. You know, and this just, it really frustrates players, and it's, I've heard a lot from a lot of people that play. So, the fact that the blessing system isn't finished is a real problem for this game. So, that's, so those are the first issues, <laughs> and there are a lot more. But, you know, going on uh, through the gameplay, you know, besides that, um, the blessing system, you know, and creating that level of frustration where you can possibly have a ton of materials and then just waste a ton of materials just trying to get a weapon that maybe will be good, you know. And then once you have that legendary weapon, if it has a bad blessing, there's no recourse. There's no recourse other than just deal with it, you know. And it, that frustrates players, okay. And I think that that's probably one of the biggest problems in, with the game right now. Besides the fact that the shop routinely just has garbage. And by garbage, I mean things that aren't better than what you have already, right? So, and the shop is just loaded with it. And there's these arbitrary stats that just take points away from things that would be good, right? Like, if there wasn't mobility, um, then you, you could just roll for these stats that you want, you know? Or if there wasn't... Let me look for a better example. If there wasn't ammo and stability, then you could just roll for damage, mobility, and soft power, right? Something like that, you know? And so I think that that's kind of the path that they should go down, is kind of really just simplify the game. Because I think that this is probably one of the biggest points of frustration uh, for a lot of the people that play. So I'm not really, you know, I'm not talking about gameplay so much in this video, but uh, that, I just wanted to bring that up to you guys because, you know, people, I think people are right to be somewhat frustrated with the state of the game because without that blessing reroll system, the game just isn't finished. Like that is a key feature of this game and just a key part of the entire gameplay and the entire upgrade system. So then like what what like goal are players supposed to set? Are they supposed to set the goal that um you know, I'm going to just throw materials at things and then just farm like crazy and then just keep throwing things at a wall until they stick right and that's basically what players are doing and it's not a fun way to play and you know i wanted to give some like suggestions for like how they could fix that and i think a few ways is one way is that like if you look at your operative right and you level up and you get your feats right and as you level up you get more powerful right as it you know these kind of games are right you level up okay rising conviction you know get the better stats right i don't understand why they do, don't do that for weapons as well or introduce weapon challenges where okay you did this challenge you can unlock this blessing right and then put it on your weapon right and then you you know you earned it and then you know that you're guaranteed to get what you want you know and you just have to put the work in right so i just want to talk about that quickly in this video I'll go into more depth on the actual gameplay and some of the issues there as well. The game, like, I want to reiterate that I think the game is very fun. Like, the gameplay is, like, very fun, in my opinion. It just needs work. And I think that a source of a lot of the frustration among the player base is the fact that the game is fun. You know, and people really enjoy playing it. And they're disappointed when these fixes, like, these small, these things that could be very easily remedied, right, with just an idea of maybe simplify things or you know improve the blessing system or let people re-roll blessings um just kind of have been kind of swept under the table you know and you know those are my thoughts on it i'm just gonna leave it there for you guys and leave comments if you uh 
I want to hear all you guys' opinions. You know, your opinions on the game. So just whatever you're thinking, throw it down there. All right? Take care.